The Big Sky State of Montana is known for getting huge dumps of quality snow. Now mix in some mind-blowing terrain, it's no wonder Great Northern Powder Guides set up a cat skiing operation in Northwest Montana. Hello there, I'm Bob Lagasse, and welcome to another episode of the Freeride Chronicles. We're just outside of Whitefish, Montana at Great Northern Powder Guides. Now with over 300 inches of annual snowfall, it's no wonder Great Northern set up shop here. One person who loves getting deep into the backcountry is former U.S. freestyle ski team member and Missoula, Montana native, Landon Gardner. If I had to pinpoint the reason why I was involved with freestyle skiing, I'd, I'd have to say um, the community of friends that I grew up skiing with. At the age of 11 years old, Landon Gardner joined the Missoula freestyle ski team. It was then and there that Landon's eyes were opened up to the competitive world of freestyle moguls. I joined the Missoula Freestyle team, got a little taste of what freestyle moguls was all about, what competition was all about for that matter. I was always chasing bigger kids around the mountain, whether it was my, my older brothers or the older guys on the team, I was always chasing somebody and, and always trying to keep up with them. And I tried to you know, carry that over to the mogul course and was progressing and found a little success on like the junior national circuit and started to accumulate these points that put me on this national points list and I was like, oh man, this is great and I'm still having a lot of fun. And uh, me and another friend, uh, Ryan Comans, we decided to move down to, to Park City, Utah. We joined the Park City Freestyle team. In early season, we were skiing four or five days a week, getting in a ton of training. And that very first year I moved to Utah, I made the U.S. ski team through a, a selection event, um, a series of selection events. It was like two total events. Um, I finished third and first over the two days and secured my spot on the U.S. ski team. I skied two World Cups that year. After that first year, um, it really became visible to me, like, wow, this is this journey's possible. Journey is right. I spent eight years on the, the U.S. Freestyle Mobile Team, training and competing all around the world. Freestyle Moguls is kind of a goofy sport. Uh, we, we have about 24 seconds to demonstrate to the judges that we can ski down this thing fast together and execute two airs. Uh, to get a, a good enough score to either beat your competition or be in the mix. And, you know, it's it's kind of crazy to think about all the hours and days and weeks that you put into to that short amount of time and the travel. Um, so it's it's pretty cool to sit up there and be like, three, two, one, here we go. You know, the judges are watching, the clock's ticking down. And yeah, just being as present as possible, not thinking about too many things and just trusting yourself. This ride for Landon has been an incredible adventure filled with memories and experiences. The coolest experience that I've had so far in life, the travel and meeting new people and, and being able to compete and everything that goes along with injury and success and the ups and downs has just been an unbelievable journey. Landon's journey has come full circle. Landon's giving back to a program that gave him so much. Um, the Missoula Freestyle team has been a, been a part of me for 17 years, ever since I first joined the team um, up until now. I'm currently the head coach. When I was an athlete in the program, I think we had 34, and now we're in the high 60s. And it's really cool to see that program grow, the skiing community in Missoula grow. During his free time, when Landon isn't coaching the kids, he can be found in the backcountry. You know, my passion for skiing has been reborn, for sure. And mostly in the form of uh, backcountry skiing. Lucky enough to have excellent terrain in Western Montana, to go up for a day, three days, four days, and just explore the, the, the country around, around my home. You've got to be as calculated as possible, and that's, that's part of the challenge, and, and frankly, that's, that's fun, you know, to me. It's total freedom. There's nobody really telling you to go left, go right. Hey, this is the line you need to take. You, you point it and go. You're going to have a, a, a hell of a ride. It's going to be awesome. We're in the woods, you know, and we're here because of the sport of skiing. And it's been a huge part of my life. It's a cool sport. As you can see, Landon knows how to turn those boards. Now don't go far, because when we come back, we're gonna meet the husband and wife team who started up Great Northern Powder Guides. Free Ride Chronicles, brought to you by Rosignol. Every inch, every minute, every second, we chip away at finding inspiration to reimagine luxury, making the colors of earth and sunset skies into rich interior accents, or putting the beauty of a forest in the palm of your hands. It will take you to another place 
wherever you happen to be. Made with pride, crafted with passion. This is the new 2014 Jeep Grand Cherokee. It is the best of what we're made of. Authentic mountain-inspired ski wear that embraces the spirit of skiing. Obermeyer, designing winter outerwear for skiing enthusiasts for over 60 years. Designed and tested in Aspen, Colorado. Welcome back. Whitefish, Montana is well known for both summer and winter activities. 25 years ago, Jay and Kai Sandlin were looking for a quiet place in a mountain environment to raise their family. And with skiing being a huge part of their lifestyle, the Flathead Valley made perfect sense. Four years ago, they started up Great Northern Powder Guides. I came from Colorado, came here to raise a family. Couldn't afford to live in Colorado anymore. Moved here, it was 10 years in the past. It was like Colorado was, and a great environment to raise a family. Jay Sandlin, a former World Cup and professional speed skier who once reached speeds of 142 miles an hour on skis, met his wife Kai in the early 80s when she moved to Steamboat Springs from Illinois to ski bum for a year. Well, most ski bums know how that just one year story plays out. That was more than two decades ago that Kai and Jay made the move from Colorado and made Whitefish, Montana their home. And during that time, they managed to raise their two boys, Tarn and Dane, and operate a road construction business. So when the opportunity came up to take over an existing cat skiing permit, the Sandlin family jumped on it. Uh, it was a natural transition for them to come into the cat skiing business. One, my oldest son, is one of the owners and he is a cat operator and a mechanic and a welder. My youngest son is one of the owners and he is a guide, welder and fabricator. So we pretty much do it all. So if, uh, if we're not guiding and taking them out in the backcountry, we are fixing the cats in the backcountry. Great Northern runs cat skiing trips for all levels of riders and over 15,000 acres of skiable terrain in Montana's Stillwater Forest. We have terrain for just about anybody that uh, skis with us. We're in our own little microclimate. We have a very unique setup here that we're in a snow belt right from where our base is along the highway. We have open areas, we have burned areas, we have pillows, we have glades, uh, we have steeps, we have rocks, we have pretty much everything that's out there. And that's what makes it unique. We ski some great steep trees and that's, that's kind of what I like to move my feet quick and um, we definitely found all that and I can't wait to come back. The terrain at Great Northern really offers a variety for every skiing level. There's wide open tree lanes for the intermediate skier who wants to come out and try cat skiing for the first time. What a great place. Getting you to the goods is easy in the custom made Great Northern Snowcat. Each cat holds up to 12 guests, two guides, and one staff photographer who documents your day of riding and provides guests with an opportunity to take home memorable images of their cat skiing experience. We have two cats, we go out every day. One cat is, is called a steep and deep cat. They go for 10 to 12,000 vertical and lunch on the go. The other cat is a powder cat and it's got eight to 10,000 feet of vertical and then we do lunch of the year. All right, who's ready? Yesterday we, we ate in the cat, but it was really good food. And then today they cooked uh, hot burgers for us on a barbecue here at the yurt. Um, it was nice to get in there, dry off, sit down, have some hot soup. They got everything you need right here, and it was uh, definitely good food. Great Northern offers day trips and multi-day trips. And if you're looking for a little more of an adventure, you can stay overnight at the yurt up in the ski terrain. First time I've ever been cat skiing in the actual lower 48 and it's been a wonderful time. Great snow, great people, great guides, great cats. Whether it's the snow or the down-home Montana hospitality, Great Northern keeps bringing the guests back year after year. Uh, we have people that have amazing trades, um, very talented people that want to ski and enjoy the passion. Yeah, girl. And we have, we've had repeat customers 
again and again. It's, it's because of the team we have. It's because of my wife and my kids and our guides. For this family-run operation, it's more than just a business. It's a passion that has been passed along through the generations. Wow, what a place to call home. Now don't go far, because when we come back, we're going to meet a guy who likes going big in the backcountry. Free Ride Chronicles, brought to you by Obermeyer. Free Ride Chronicles, brought to you by Swanee Gloves. It's pretty nice knowing that your powder trip with Great Northern Powder Guides is documented by a professional photographer, capturing those epic moments that will last a lifetime. Speaking of epic shots, you've probably looked through a skiing magazine or two and seen photos of this next person, big mountain skier, Dave Treadway. in the Bible that says better is one day in heaven than a thousand days elsewhere. And for me it's that like feeling, like that upside down. So I think heaven's going to be a thousand times better than that. Born in Kenora, Ontario, Dave Treadway is a spiritual man and the youngest of the Treadway clan. I'm uh, the baby of three brothers and both my older brothers really push it at every envelope of activities and so for me it was always trying to catch up to what they're doing and it was a challenge uh, and I think that's helped me kind of get to where I'm at today with my level of skiing. Professional free skier and snowmobiler Dave Treadway is the oldest and his brother Daryl who is in the middle is also a big mountain skier. As you can see that's a tough act to follow. Yeah, as a professional skiing athlete it's a lot more than just going skiing. Uh, you're running a business essentially. Uh, all the marketing that I have to do and that I enjoy doing with social media, you know, magazines, doing stories. It's a, it's a whole package, it's not just being good on skis anymore, uh, which I enjoy. I like that part of the industry, the world, and uh, so you have to be a lot more than just a skier, but a, a good businessman as well. As we go skiing, we have awesome filmers and photographers that follow us around, and through their creative eye, we get to capture some awesome images promote the companies that sponsor us. So for myself, uh, Peak Performance, Gyro, Rosignol, different companies like that, um, they employ me because along with having an advertisement in a movie or a TV show or magazine, you know, if they can have myself and other athletes published, it helps them with the marketing and uh, pushes their product. Well, he's just a class act and what a talent, you know, just you know, skiing with somebody of that ability, it just gets you really fired up. Uh, he just goes off anything and pins everything. It just, his talent is amazing. Everything is, is calculated. Um, I mean, it looks kind of crazy, but he, he knows exactly what he's doing. Over the past few years, Dave's skills have been recognized by Powder Magazine. Last year, Dave had a two-page spread published in Powder. Jordan Manley, the photographer, was shooting out of a helicopter as Dave skied a pillow line. Uh, it actually won photo of the year at the powder awards and so that was a, a cool photo and it just encompassed the type of skiing that i enjoy doing not to rest on his accomplishments yeah so the powder awards i won pov footage of the year just for the overall footage uh, that i've produced through throwing my gopro on my helmet and that's an awesome one because all you have to do is press the button and drop in Dave is passing on the tradition to the next generation of Treadways. Uh, cool to be now instilling those things that I've learned in my own family. I have a kid five months old now and my wife. So using those things uh, is pretty cool. In 15 or 20 years, I hope to be enjoying playing in the mountains uh, as long as I can just be healthy, alive, and enjoying it with my friends and family. Free Ride Chronicles, brought to you by Rosignol. Every inch, every minute, every second, we chip away, 
at finding inspiration to reimagine luxury, making the colors of earth and sunset skies into rich interior accents, or putting the beauty of a forest in the palm of your hands. It will take you to another place, wherever you happen to be. Made with pride, crafted with passion. This is the new 2014 Jeep Grand Cherokee. It is the best of what we're made of. Free Ride Chronicles, brought to you by Smith Optics. Talk about going full throttle. It's pretty easy to understand Dave's passion for skiing. Now, if you're looking to expand your powder skiing vacation when you're out here with Great Northern Powder Guides, why not come out a few days early to nearby Whitefish Mountain Resort? It's the perfect place for the whole family. Yeah, Montana's a special place for sure. Laid back, genuine, um, kind of an authentic friendliness that comes with, uh, with the people here. Real hard working ethic, but also uh, a penchant for having a real good time. Work hard and play even harder. I can live by that mantra. With over 3,000 skiable acres and 102 marked runs, you can play to your heart's desire at Whitefish Mountain Resort. And with 13 lifts to get you around, Accessing the goods is pretty darn easy now. And mixing in over 300 inches of annual snowfall, I'd say you're in for a good time. What's unique about, about that 300 inches is it, it just comes on a consistent basis. It's not two feet of snow and then two weeks with nothing. It's a real consistent four, six, eight inches on a, just on a regular basis that adds up and, and makes for a real quality experience every day. Uh, we ski kind of uh, 360 degrees off the top of the mountain, so that's a really unique aspect. Um, there's always good skiing. Uh, no matter what the weather has been, you can always go find good snow when you're skiing in any direction off the top of the hill. Got a summit house, which makes a real fun experience up top. Views into Glacier National Park from that facility and down to Flathead Lake in the valley. And then down low, we've got a, a base lodge facility that we built about seven years ago that's super nice. Got a world-class kids center as well as your know, restaurant and bar facilities. We feel like we kind of take care of uh, all the segments really well. You can always find skiers and boarders hanging out by the outdoor fire pit or enjoying a great breakfast or lunch, recharging themselves for a challenging run or cruisers with the family. After a day of taking on the mountain, you can explore the village area, experiencing the wide assortment of shops and restaurants. The village is also based for several ski-in, ski-out condo complexes. We've got a pretty well-developed lodging infrastructure up here, all the way to deluxe ski-in, ski-out townhouses, and just about everything in between condominiums and, uh, and single-family homes and places like that. The nearby town of Whitefish is about seven miles away from the mountain, and it has a rich history. So the town of Whitefish has a ton to offer. Downtown is uh, three or four square blocks of just really fun bars, great shopping, um, but very genuine feel to it. Um, started as a railroad town, um, timber town, and has kind of developed into this uh, real uh, world-class place to visit. Whitefish is not just for the winter sports enthusiasts. Summers on the mountain are just as big. With their aerial adventure park, zipline tours, and the walk in the treetops nature hike. And did I mention mountain biking? We added to our mountain bike experience. So uh, not only do we have a, a real solid uh, network of cross-country mountain bike trails, but we also have added uh, a number of downhill mountain bike trails. So to feed that kind of gravity mountain bike junkie, and uh, we're getting real rave reviews on that. So we're real excited about the, the progress around here. In the we give people a, a real laid-back Montana experience, but we do it with world-class terrain, world-class facilities, uh, consistent, awesome snow, and that's the kind of a Whitefish Montana way. Whether it's summer or winter, Whitefish Mountain Resort has it going on. Hey, thanks for watching another episode of the Free Ride Chronicles. If you want to keep up on our adventures, follow us on Facebook. Until next time, I'm Bob Lagasa, and I'll see you on the hill.